Hey Nokia fans, Here Maps by Nokia was just released for iOS. In this video, we'll show you how it looks on the iPhone 5. Right away, I noticed the maps were blurry. I thought my eyes were playing tricks on me, but a quick switch to Apple Maps shows a noticeable difference. The roads and labels on Here Maps appear to be more pixelated on the iPhone 5. Let's move on. You could pinch to zoom, but you can't rotate or tilt in this version. Search is on top with two buttons next to it. This button here shows search results in list view, and this button right here is like the menu button. Let's try to do a sample search here. When you start typing, there are suggestions that show up below, which is very handy. Places have photos, business hours, reviews, and recommendations to other places nearby. Clicking on route gives you directions using three options. There's drive, walk, and public transportation. It's interesting that the drive option gives you settings for the date and time. Public transport is also very useful. An example here shows me where the nearest bus stop is and the next steps after that to reach my destination. The walking directions for here maps include audio, but Nokia included the word beta, so it's probably not 100% working. You click load audio before the journey starts and then you click the start button. That should cover the current version of Here Maps by Nokia on the iPhone. It's a nice option for iPhone users if they're not happy with Apple's Maps, but there's definitely room for improvement. Search might be better on Here Maps, but there's no drive navigation yet. I also don't know why the maps look blurry or pixelated. So that's all for now. If you like this video, please click on the thumbs up button. It lets me know that these videos are actually helpful. Also, if you haven't yet, subscribe to the YouTube channel to watch the videos before they get published on the blog. I'm Mark Gwim. Thanks for watching.